Time's gone. Good. Wrapping gifts always reminds me of my dad. He wasn't a big gift giver. I can hear him now. Yeah. When I was a kid, we didn't give gifts. We were too poor. We gave each other headaches. Dad, I still got mine from last year. I heard that. But the truth is, I do have some fond memories of Christmas. When I was a kid growing up in the Midwest, as soon as Thanksgiving was over, everybody seemed to immediately get into the spirit of the season. Except for my family. Tommy! Tommy! Oh, we never had a Christmas like the families on TV did. Dad, when are we going to put up our lights? When the war was on, we couldn't put up lights. What? My mom would always interpret for my dad. Your dad is telling you not this weekend, but next. What? We're not putting up lights this year. We're conserving energy. Who is yours? Too early for this garbage. I mean, oh, oh, there any oh, there's a fishing Daddy's show. Go ah, Christmas show. This guy's is a fishing uh, show. Uh, ah, I know it. There's a Santa on the boat. That's a Christmas spirit. I heard that. Winter arrived early in Cedar Knoll, Wisconsin. By Christmas time, we always had a ton of snow. Who closes ours? 119-204. 221, districts 807, 516, 214. Hey, no school! Oh, fine, no school today! Hey, 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 hey,
Fox Family Channel programming is brought to you in Fox. We're going to get the Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Ah, look at that kid. There weren't any cars. No congestion. He had a horse and a mule. Not that. Mom thought that if we could get Dad to go out and buy a tree, then he might get in the right frame of mind so he would put up the lights. Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> well, it seemed like a good idea. Ah. They're crying out loud. Don't these people have anything better to do? They have a TV or a sick relative they can take care of? Let's split up. I'm going with Mom. Now, hold on there, buddy. Hold your horses there, pal. I know how to work with these guys. They buy these trains for a quarter each. Then they mark them up about 200%. Uh -huh. That's right. This is it. We'll take this. Ah, uh, that's an excellent choice, man. No, 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 not that one. This one here. How much for this train here? I don't need a lift. That, that, that's a $35 tree. What? What, are you going to come over and decorate it for us? Yeah, I'll give you three bucks for it. Oh, my gosh! He's not our legal father. Give me that saw out of the garage. Go on and get that stand out of the basement. You mean the stand that came over on the Mayflower? Ah, that's a good stand. It's been handed down generation after generation. I was... We didn't have any stands. We had to take turns holding that tree. <laughs> you work on that tree for, what, three, four hours? Put it over the right now. Move the other leg here. Push the thing down. Every year, the same thing. You put it in the stand. Dad, it's crooked. Ah, put it by the TV. No one will notice. For 35 bucks, that tree should dance. <laughs> Well, sooner or later, Mom would talk Dad into stringing up the light. Merry Christmas. Of course, he'd go all out. really make us proud. Oh, the squirrels should get some decorations. Uh, I've outdone myself once again. Hey, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to put some of your mother's relatives out there. Yeah, good night for them, right? Yeah. Here's a treat for you, boy. Eat up, they're fresh. Put your arms, hang with your feet. Now put the right hand up here. Now stretch your feet. That's right. Now then, put this down under your lips over your teeth. Look this. 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 Look Lucky her. Her son and daughter moved to Florida. She can't afford to fly to see them. She can't afford to buy any presents. She can't even afford to buy a Christmas tree. I don't think she's having any company this year. Who's invited to any Christmas dinner. Quiet! I said quiet! My mom just brushed it off like she did a hundred times before, knowing he really didn't mean it. Well. But I decided it was time to stick up for my mom. Hey, Dad. Listen, pal. You be quiet, too. Quiet? Hmm. Don't tell me to be quiet. Quiet! You need this whole family. I have an idea. Now, I put a lovely roast in the oven. It won't be ready for three hours. They're yeah, medium rare. Just the way I like it. So, I'm going over to Mrs. Stillman mm -hmm. to offer to take her to the grocery store. And this mm -hmm. will allow you enough time to decorate her house. No, darn it. Now, I've been waiting for this episode all week. Isn't there an extra box of Christmas lights in the garage? The, the Dennis daughter's cousin's husband gave us. You remember? I put them all up. Why can't Mrs. Stillman put up her own light? Since Mr. Stillman passed, Mrs. Stillman is all alone. She probably can't afford decoration. You understand. Poor Mrs. Stillman, yeah. Probably collected a hundred grand worth of insurance from the old codger kit. I wouldn't doubt it. Andy, I'm sure we have an extra box. Well, we have an extra box. Why don't we put them around my room? Louie? They're on the shelf next to the paint thinner. You know, the paint thinner we used to get the gum out of Tommy's hair. Three hours. 
Next is a box next to the paint center. Brilliant. This was a perfect time for me to go and clean my room. That's right. Get your coat, because you're coming with me. Uh, I better stay here with Tommy. Your sister will watch him. Laura, watch your brother down here. Don't let him blow up the house. I'm going over to the Stillman house to rob it with Louie. Just what I needed. To go out in the sub-zero weather with the abominable loudmouth. It's the 25 days of Christmas on Fox. Make sure all the bulbs light before you spend hours putting them up. Oh, there's a thought. I heard that. In those days, if you had one bad bulb, the whole string would be out. Wow. Darn it. They work. Come on. Let's get this over with. <laughs> on the first day of Christmas, my wife. Dad. Mr. Stillman doesn't even have a Christmas tree. Yeah? She's 35 bucks richer, too. Here, untangle these. It's difficult enough to try to get through childhood with sausage links as fingers, but then to cap them off with oven mittens? Will you hurry up? I'm freezing my keister up while you're twiddling your thumb. I'd like to see him handle a hammer and nails wearing these things. I heard that. All right, now. Bring that over here. You, on the ladder. Drop your weapon. Get that light out of my eye. Step down from that ladder with your hands up. How do you suppose I do that? Hmm, this guy's a good one. Get him up, pal. All right, all right. Good call, Joe. Dad, are you okay? You can uh, I used to jump out of planes without a shoe. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Keep them up. I'm a neighbor. I'm just putting up some Christmas tree lights for old lady Stillman. She's lonely. It doesn't look like anyone's home. That's the idea. It's a surprise. I live across the street. See? And you're going to put lights up here. It's my lovely wife's idea, officer. And if I don't do it, she'll drive me nuts! You should have pointed to a different house, pal. We may have believed you. Cuff him. Hey, I waited a few minutes to see if his mouth would freeze shut. I was in a war! I'm a veteran! Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Hello? Excuse me. I'm Louis Anderson. My That's my cat. He's telling the truth. The box of lights and stuff is over there. Uh, you can put your hands down now, son. Son, I, I said you can put your hands down. They are down, sir. All right, Mr. Anderson, you may resume your work. One word of advice. This house better look a heck of a lot better than your house, or we'll be back. Lucky thing for you, my hand was numb. My dad never spoke words of sentiment, but he did thank me in his own way. Hurry up. I'm freezing my war wound off. Now, what am I doing up here? Hold it steady. What are you trying to do? Make me fall and break my neck? I get all the bad jobs, plugging lights into each other. He's up there on the roof skating around. Uh, no fun. I could be electric. Hey, what the heck? Dad, Louie? Yeah. 
Trouble. You gotta help him. There's a ladder on the side. Now let's get it. Just hurry up, you kids. I'm losing my grip. You can stay out of here. I heard that. It's the 25 days of Christmas on Fox Family. Home for the holidays. Celebrate. I believe I've missed each and every day. Come on and say what he said. Let's turn on every love light in the place. Each time I found myself. So the least surrounding your circle. Oh, my Bad Rudolph's nose burns out. It won't light up. And Frosty can't take the heat. But hey, it's still a lot of fun. Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Check it out Sunday night at 6, 5 Central on Fox Family Channel. This Christmas, she's asking Santa for a husband. Will you marry me? But she better be careful. He's uh, my fiancé. Because all her wishes are about to come true. Suddenly I'm getting everything that I ever wanted, but it all turns out wrong. Mimi Rogers in the holiday romance with a twist. I'm Santa's helper. The Christmas List, Sunday night at 8, 7 Central. Let's go, this gutter starts to give. Ouch! Yeah. We're surprising Mrs. Stillman by decorating her home. That's the kids great. all like Mrs. Stillman. That's A couple great. of them ran home to see if they could find some extra lights, which really irritated my dad. He hated it when people helped him. He'd much rather do it himself and then complain all the way home. Hey, don't bunch them together. Got to make sure they're spaced out evenly and stuff. Oh, she's got all that mean that stuff. Nah, she needs to know everything. Somebody's future mother-in-law, I'll tell you that right now. I'll spin them out, all right. inside and see if Miss Lonely has paid her electric bill yet. Yep. I see a light on in the kitchen. All right, now. We've only got about ten minutes till they get here. We're gonna have to check every bulb. Spread out here! So, we did what Dad suggested. Checked every bulb one by one with our replacement bulb. My dad pitched in, of course. Louie! You missed the evergreen. Check the evergreen! I think the louder my dad yelled, the warmer he felt. Chloe, check Santa! Make sure he's grounded. Grounded? Make sure you're grounded. I heard that. Hey, guys, here they come! Are you sure it's my car? I know that piece of junk green rambler any day. That car's a classic. Where are they? Well, what are we going to do? Oh, the lights aren't on yet. Don't worry. We got all night. That flunker won't make it around the corner. Ah, traitor. Ah. Hey, Dad. Look. Look for the plug. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Hey, hurry up. Here they come. Stand back. I know what I'm doing here. I like trash. Clear. The electrical wizard that he was had single-handedly, with the help of some wet snow, managed to jumpstart the lights. And I think seeing Mrs. Stillman's reaction to the surprise really touched my dad's heart. Wait till that old bird sees her electric bill. She'll wish she was married to Edison, huh? 
Hey, Anderson. Nice job. Not too bad, huh? <laughs> you gonna help the lady take this stuff down in January? Well, why, uh... This is my favorite. Merry Christmas! I'll give you three guesses who Dad nominated for that job. Mrs. Stillman made hot chocolate, and we sang Christmas carols. My dad didn't join us. He'd had enough socializing for one night. He went home to spread holiday cheer with the rest of the family. I was real proud of my dad that night. Later, we realized why Mrs. Stillman didn't put up Christmas decorations. She was Jewish. Regardless, it was a special Christmas for me and the entire neighborhood. Christmas morning was special, too. My dad would announce the price of each gift as it was open. Now, if they're happy, this sled was about 12 bucks. We'll be eating for a month. If they can slide down the hill, maybe they'll hit a deer, and then we'll be able to cook it. Eh? The only way to break even on that deal. Wow! You better like that. I had to take out a second mortgage on the house to pay for it. We don't even own this house. <sighs> Here, Dad. Hope of mine. For me? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Hey! I've been looking for these tools! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you got me. All right, Mr. Funny. Very amusing. So where's the real present? Come on, let's see it. What'd you really give us? A little something for the head of the household? A little booty for the breadwinner? Yeah? A little hail to the chief? You wouldn't stiff your old man, would you? Would you? Louie? Son? Friend? This year, I'm giving my dad a gift that he'll really love. I'm giving him his jumper cables back. Well, I hope you enjoyed life with Louie. From my family to yours, I hope you have a great holiday season. Uh -huh. All right. It's the 25 Days of Christmas on Fox Family Channel. Now that's a lot of Santa. For a menacing matrasher ruined Christmas, it's two crafty canines to the rescue. Showtime. It's an all dogs Christmas carol, Saturday night at 6, 5 cents from our Fox Family Channel. All right. Let me tell you about my family. Here we go now, it's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride, but no surprise. In Cedar Knoll, Wisconsin, winter seemed the last nine months of the year. But each December, just when it seemed the kid couldn't take the cold anymore, an oasis appeared in the sub-freezing desert. Right. Christmas. Do you see anything you might like for Christmas, Louie? Yeah, lots of stuff. Remember, there's a $5 limit for each end. $5? You try buying gifts for 11 kids. There's a $5 limit for each of you, and that's final. Oh, I'm sure you'll both find something nice. Yeah, Tommy. You ask for the letters A through L. I'll mm -hmm. ask for the letters M through Z. And then next year we'll get the board and we can spell out thank you, Dad. Mm. Now, $5 back then was worth a lot more than it is now. But it still wasn't enough to buy the real cool stuff. Hey, no fair. I'll have the meat. Well, I'm asking my folks for figure skates. Wow, you think you'll get them? I've worked all year for those skates, and I've even been doing extra chores around the house lately. I asked my parents for ice skates, but I'm getting a Z in spelling. Think I have a chance? Try my technique. When you're with your folks and you see a present you really want, get real quiet looking at it. Let a single tear fall down your cheek, then just turn around and walk away. What are you asking for, Louie? I don't know. 
five bucks won't buy a pair of ice skates. I'd be lucky to even get the laces. Hey, Chico, have you decided what to ask your parents for for Christmas? Not yet. Your family doing anything special this year? Not really. Anything's got to be better than Christmas dinner at my house. It's a zoo. All your relatives coming over to your place, too? I don't think so. Anyone want to play horse? I will. How do you spell horse again? Boys and girls, we have a very special guest here today. Say hello to Santa Claus. How, how, how. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What do you think, Santa? Perhaps it's time for a Christmas carol? How about a lullaby? Maybe you could put these little wildebeest to sleep. Let's all pay attention to Santa as he sings Deck the Hall. Deck the what? She said it was time for Santa to sing Deck the Hall. I think you got the wrong jolly fat man, lady. I'm no burrow I. Deck the halls with hyper kids. Fa la 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 la. Making their fathers slip their lips. Fa la 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 la. Work all day for little pay. Fa la 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 la. The kids want cash or they won't go away. Fa la 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 la.
You know that little voice in your head? Makes you feel guilty for having too much of a good thing. Yeah, we don't either. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. The big holiday show at Kmart is like a breath of fresh air with bigger brands, bigger selection, bigger values. Men's Henleys, Mock Tees, Long Sleeve Tees and Turtlenecks are just $6.99 each. High Tech Poly Fleece Shirts are on sale $14.99. All Men's Jeans are on sale too. Wrangler, Ryder, Rustler, Route 66. He'll look good, he'll feel good at Kmart, where happy holidays begin. I'm here with Marissa, who recently found out how easy it is to find phone numbers using 1010-9000. Well, after I had Susie, there were lots of people all over the country I wanted to call. And lots of phone numbers to find. Yes, but with 1010-9000, I was able to find everyone's number from Boston to Seattle. And you didn't even need their area code. No, thank goodness. I just told the operators whose numbers I needed and where they lived. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah, it was. 1010-9000, directory assistance for everyone in America. That yeah. goes for you, too. <laughs> Check out the next AM10. Ho, ho, ha! Free fall with Santa Claus. Tonight at 8, 7 Central on Fox Family Channel. On the next flight, camera action. Look, Ma, no hands, no skis. No way I'm going to miss these champions. Flight, camera action. Tonight at 8.30, 7.30 Central on Fox Family Channel. First of all, Santa's supposed to be thin. A guy is in good a shape as me. Ha! Who's ever going to believe I'm fat enough to be sad? Hey, not so tight. I'm not bleeding. So, Andy, I talked with your brother Eric this morning. I invited him and his family here for Christmas dinner. Your mother, too. Ow! Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Andy. Did I stick you? No. The thought of Eric and my mother visiting is more painful than a sharp pin in my side. More like a dagger in my heart. So, Louie... Have you decided what to ask Santa for Christmas? With the $5 limit, the possibilities are simply endless. I'm thinking nail clippers are a refrigerator magnet at this point. Stop complaining. When I was your age, I was lucky to get a lump of coal for Christmas. In fact, I'd have to use it to keep me warm for most of the winter. Yeah, well, that explains a lot. Thanks for the suggestion, Dad. Well, you'll think of something. And then we'll write a letter to Santa to get it. Besides, there's a lot more to Christmas than getting gifts. Yeah, right. Isn't that right, Andy? Yeah. Don't forget the part, though, where the annoying relatives invade your house and ruin the entire holiday. <laughs> hey, check out the orphanage. Look at the size of that thing. Wouldn't it be cool living in that place? Yeah. And no parents to tell you what to do. I've got an idea. Why don't we go down the other side of the hill? Uh, what'd I say? That's Concussion Corridor. No kid has ever slept down it and lived except Glen Glen. And look what happened to him. Oh, it doesn't look that tough to me. I'll bet you with Louie steering, we could make it all the way down. What do you say? Uh, did I mention they call it Concussion Corridor? Come on, it'll be fun. Did I mention they call this Concussion Corridor? <laughs>
Try three ring circus. You just witnessed the train seal act. I'd give anything <laughs> if I could be an only child. Take it from me. Being an only child isn't as fun as you might think. Would anyone like any homemade sugar cookie? Homemade? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Cool. Your family's so cool. You haven't met Corporal Keister yet. Thanks, 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 Mrs. Anderson. Thanks again. I had a really great time. Later, Teak. Well, he is just the nicest boy. Chico's the luckiest guy ever. He's handsome, he's popular, he's the best athlete at school. He's an only child. He's got everything. I'd say he's pretty smart, too. Why is that? Because he's decided to be friends with you. Come on, Louie. Five bucks has to be able to buy something cool in this town. Let's face it. For five bucks, I can't even get the batteries for that truck. Maybe you should ask for a book. Did he just use a four-letter word? Sorry, what was I thinking? How about a gumball machine? It costs five bucks. Yeah, without the gumballs. What am I going to do? If I don't come up with something, my dad said Santa's going to bring me antifreeze for the Rambler. <laughs> Your dad sounds really funny. It's no joke. I got a flywheel for my seventh birthday. Hey, what are you doing? That's too tight. Hey, Dad, I thought you were too skinny to play Santa. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. There, you're all ready, Andy. Now remember, the gifts donated from the toy store all have labels on them. Make sure you give the right gift to the right kid. Uh, Aura, I can read. Now, where are the gifts? That should be them right now. Delivery for Anderson. Aura, are you kidding me? How in the heck am I supposed to carry all those presents? <laughs> <laughs> well, Aura, take a look at Santa's little helpers. That one for all, all for one, huh, Dad? Trick or treat. Oh, boys, you're both adorable. You think maybe I could be adorable in my regular clothes? Well, time's a waste, and let's get a move on before I pass out from how tight this belt is. Not if you got 11 kids. Holy night. What, they see my boxes? Oh, it's cold. Got my mother with it. It's the 25 Days of Christmas on Fox Family Channel, so let's hang up the mistletoe. Drew Barrymore is going to toilet. Wow. Where Keanu Reeves is in big trouble. What are you trying to pull now, Barnaby? I want toilet. It's a race to save the toy. I'm not the one who can save Toyland. You are. A holiday motion picture event, Babes in Toyland, tomorrow night at 7, 6 Central on Fox Family Channel. Here we go. Siskel and Ebert give Babe two very enthusiastic thumbs up. You're just a little pig in the big city. Way up. Fine by more. What? It's one of the best films of the year. And even better than the original. Almost sheep USA Today calls it wildly imaginative. Things are looking up for it. Enchanting and delightful. And what? It's babe -alicious. I'm hungry. Babe, pig in the city. My lucky, lucky pig. Brady G, now playing. I'm still hungry. It's a great age to shop till you drop. It's a great age to fill it up to the top. It's a great age to cook it up hot. It's a great age for Fisher Price. And it's a great age for you helping me. Oh, it's a great age. The new Fisher Price Shop and Cook Kitchen. The only play kitchen with shopping on one side and cooking on the other. It's a Come great and get age it. for Fisher Price. Start a new tradition this holiday season. Give the great taste of Omaha Steaks. Hi, I'm Fred Simon, owner of Omaha Steaks. You just won't find filet mignon of this quality at any supermarket. Our filets are so tender, you may not need your knife. Steaks like these are only available from Omaha Steaks, and they make the perfect gift. Right now, Omaha Steaks is making the special offer. You'll get six five-ounce world-famous filet mignon for just $29.99. That's a $25 savings. Order now and you'll get six of our four-ounce Omaha Steaks burgers free. Your gourmet steaks will arrive in perfect condition, shipped frozen in a free reusable picnic cooler along with a free cookbook. This year, skip those crowded shopping malls and give the gift of Omaha Steaks. I personally guarantee your complete satisfaction or your money back. 
Don't miss this spectacular offer. Six five-ounce filet mignon for just $29.99, plus free burgers, a free picnic cooler, and a free cookbook. Call 800-706-5300 now. Detective Gannon had a simple assignment. Not the kid. Just keep an eye on Nathan Thomas. But there's one problem. Why are you doing this to me? This little dude's got a big attitude. I want hey. Tim Matheson and Carol Long in a Fox Family original. Catch me if you can tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central on Fox Family Channel. Right here. Santa's gonna bring me. Can I have one, please? Oh, right over here. Oh! Hey, Dan, where are you going? I'm going to the North Pole. Where do you think I'm going? You can't just walk through the front door. Santa has to come down the chimney. Duh. Go down the chimney? What are you not? Santa's gotta come down the chimney. Santa's got to come down the chimney. Oh, kid. I got a bad feeling about this. Come on, Dad. Tommy and I'll be right behind you. Now, oh, that's a real comfort, kid. All right. Give me a push now, Louie. Quiet, please. Quiet now. I think I hear Santa's reindeer. Come on, let's hurry up. I'm freezing my caboose off out here. Hey, out, boy, come on down. Where are you? Oh, Dad. We're right here, Dad. According to the Santa's Little Helper's Handbook, we get to go through the front door. Who's ready for their gift? All right! Ah! Someone hand me a cattle prod. Deja vu. Frankie. Uh, Thanks, Santa. Twelve ninety nine plus tax, in case you want to know. Denise? Oh, that's me. Uh, don't mention it. Eighteen fifty. Hey, Alf boy, why don't you do Santa a favor and brush the snow off the ramble? Uh, I mean the sleigh. <laughs> uh, the last present goes to uh, Russell. Russell! Russell! Rusty. Uh, going once, Russell. Hi, Louie. Twice. Uh, here you go, Russell. You might want to have your hearing set, kid. Thanks. Russell? Um, why do they call you Tico? I'm the oldest one here, so they call me Antique, or Teak for short. Hi, Tico. Hi, Mrs. Anderson. Don't you want to open up your present? Okay. An electric train? That's $29.99. You want to help me set it up? Sure. Why not? I'll never get one. So how come you didn't tell me you lived in an orphanage? I don't know. Embarrassed, I guess. Embarrassed of what? Look what I have to deal with. Dean Martin over there. I just don't like bringing it up. Especially this time of year. I'm really lucky to have your parents and all those brothers and sisters. Yeah, I guess so. I wish I was fighting on the front lines. What do you say? Well, they're all pretty convincing, huh? I believe the kids think I'm the real Santa Claus. Hey, Mr. Anderson, do you think you could sing us another Christmas carol? Huh? Oh, sure, sure. I'll be right there. Spoiler. Oh. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I decided what I want for my present. Oh, good. What is it? I want Tico to be able to spend Christmas Day with our family. Just what we need, another mouth to feed. Jeez, Dad, he's not that big. Shouldn't cost more than five bucks to feed him. Oh, uh, sure. Why don't you just invite the whole neighborhood? They can take shifts ready in our refrigerator. You sure you wouldn't rather have a real present, Lou? Come on, Mom. Christmas isn't just about getting gifts. That's right, Louie. It's not. I think if it's all right with the orphanage, it's all right with us. Right, Ann? Since when did our house become the local smorgasbord? Old food shelf Anderson at your service. Open the door. Empty the shelves. Hey, why didn't I think of that? Why don't we set up tables in the yard and a tent? It's the 25 days of Christmas. Visions of sugar plums. And of course, 
The Toys R Us gifts for your little angels at a heck of a price holiday toy clearance sale. Up to 50% off on the toys, games, and video games you want to get. 50% savings on the other gifts you have to get. 100 million in savings on toy after toy after toy. Isn't there someone special you can think of who'd love? 50% off at the Toys R Us gifts for your little angels at a heck of a price holiday toy clearance sale. I broke the code! Come on! We're out of here! Not till I break his code. To play Mastermind, you have to break the other player's code. To win takes reasoning, deduction, and the sooner, the better. Look for new Mastermind Secret Search. Oh, man, I'm gonna No, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm gonna pass you some meatloaf. They're right. It's takeout. Yeah. Campbell's introduces delicious new ways to cook. Like this chicken and broccoli Alfredo made with Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. It's quick, easy, and unlike anything you've ever made before. So, how'd I do? Come on, Ma, you didn't cook this. Yeah, nice try, Ma. Campbell, good for the body, good for the soul. Introducing the Braun Oral-B 3D Plaque Remover. Its unique 3D brushing action loosens plaque that sweeps it away, cleaning deeper and better than an ordinary toothbrush. Welcome to the third dimension. Ashley and Mary Kate run away from home. By bike or bus or carriage round the country they will roam. The girl from Cheers, the guy from Coach, find them, don't you know? It's Christmas with the Olsons. To Grandmother's house we go. Saturday night at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Fox Family Channel. Happy holidays. This Christmas, she's asking Santa for a husband. Will you marry me? But she better be careful. He's uh, my fiancé. Because all her wishes are about to come true. Suddenly I'm getting everything that I ever wanted, but it all turns out wrong. Mimi Rogers in the holiday romance with a twist. And Santa's helper. The Christmas List, Sunday night at 8, 7 Central. Hey, no fair. Back here. Away. Here come on, Chico. <laughs> Hi, Garrett. Somebody <laughs> just shoot me. Boys, come on in for dinner now. Here are my little grandsons. Did you have fun outside? Yeah. I can't remember when I had more fun. <laughs> All right. What are you doing with my vice grab? <laughs> Get back to me, Andrew. <laughs> Whose son are you anyway? Stiffed again. Here we go. Hey, are you my cousin or something? I'm a friend of Louie. What? <laughs> Did you lose a bet? He's the one who's never had a date. I heard that. And why don't you say grace? Okay, let's see. Uh, if you're listening, big guy, uh, thanks for the vittles, and thanks for bringing our family together. All right, big guy. That was very nice, Andy. Uh, I didn't mean you. Eat up, everyone. There's plenty more where that's going to be. Hey, Danny, you need to do it. Oh, my God. Here we go. Hey, that's one that's flop over here. I'm sorry she doesn't speak English. She's Dutch. She just came over. We've adopted her. I told her you wouldn't be able to speak. Hey, Andy. Has that car of yours kicked yet? <laughs> Still going strong. 750,000 miles on it. Only four engine changes, three ring jobs. Still driving on the original tires. Same battery all this time because I keep the water filled. You need to upgrade to a luxury car? Like Mom and me. I'll stick with the real man's form of transportation. The Ram. Hey, check out my new camera. It's state-of-the-art. Let me tell you, it cost me a pretty penny. Uh, hey, Dad, tell me and I got you a present. Ah, uh, how nice. You see that, Eric? The kids really love their old man. A lump of coal. What kind of gift is that for dear old Dad? Well, I wanted to bring your childhood back to you. Well, this baby should keep the family warm through February, at least. Or start a big fire underneath Eric's car. Oh, just getting you there, brother. Hey, everybody, let's take a family picture with my new camera. What a great idea. Uh, Come on now, gather around, everybody. You two, up the stairs. Okay. Everyone else, around. around. 
How about if I take the picture? Great idea. Say cheese. Hey, wait a minute. What about Tico? Shouldn't he be in the picture? Of course he should. Tico, why don't you join us? Don't worry about it. Wait, I've got an idea. We'll use the timer. <laughs> Everyone get in position. Okay, everybody say, Wisconsin Swiss. <laughs> Wisconsin Swiss. <laughs> Tico and I had the best Christmas ever that year. I got a surprise for you, son. Sometimes the best gift you can get is to spend time with somebody you really like. You played games, ate cookies, and later that night, Dad led the whole family in a Christmas carol. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me twelve migraine headaches, eleven children screaming, ten hour workdays, nine neighbors suing, eight dogs a barking, seven chores a waiting, six repairmen pounding, five years till I kick, four utility bills, three mortgages, two weeks off a year, and a wife to stand by me throughout it all. It's the 25 days of Christmas on Fox Family Channel. Now that's a lot of Santa. Take a look at Mr. Bill. Take a good look. See anything new about him? No? Well, here's a hint. He's on a minute time. Oh, no, Mr. Bill presents. Now at its new time, next on Fox Family Channel. Eon Cartoon Network. Once upon a time.